Catherine Reeve from Pear Tree Paper Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a layout for Cut To You. So this one classes as an advertisement. And today I'm actually using three cut files from the shop. I'm using the Dream Believer, which is that dream catcher. I'm using Dream On Dreamer, which is the title. And I'm using some of the feathers from the feathers number three set. Um, all of the images of the cut files I'm using are at the beginning of this video. Um, and I'll also link the shop down in the description box below. Um, so um, what I'm doing before I take the cut file off the mat is I'm using some Distress Oxides um, and I am using like a makeup brush um, type brush to just colour the cut files and I'm using a combination of three different um, Distress Oxides. I've got a purple, I've got a darker blue which I believe is faded jeans and I've got uh, Broken China, I think is that lighter blue. Um, and I'm just kind of mu uh, using the brush to um, merge the colours together so it gives a really soft appearance and a really dreamy-like feel to the layout. So there they are all coloured in. I'm now just going to use my weeding tool to pick out, pick off the feathers from the layout, all the different pieces. There's quite, if I've got, I just think I did four feathers and then there's the cut file, the uh, Dreamcatcher itself, and then there's the Dream on Dreamer. And that's all the pieces. It does mean you can't really use the rest of the piece of white, but I have used most of it anyway. So now I'm just choosing a piece of paper from Vicky Booten. This is the uh, mixed media pad, her new mixed media pad. I like pre-made mixed media backgrounds, and I love that dark blue. Um, so to keep a dreamy-like feel to it, I'm going to back all of the pieces of the cut files um, onto just this roll of vellum. Uh, like tracing paper, vellum paper, uh, just one at a time, running around the edge with my glue and then sticking them down and just wiping off any excess um, glue that pops out from the sides. Doesn't take long to do this part, cutting them out takes a little bit longer. They're quite fiddly because um, I probably stuck down bits I didn't need to, like I didn't need to stick down the um, the long kind of tendrils if you like at the side of the dream catcher could have done without those but never mind I've done it now so the last thing here to stick down is my title so just running around that with my glue stick that down as well and then what I do next is I cut them out so they're all individual pieces and then I start carefully um, fussy cutting around each one so that we've got a lovely Backed cut file. I could possibly try this on my Cricut, but I'm not sure because the um, tracing paper is so thin, I don't know whether it would work. So probably just easier to do it by hand. So now I'm just popping some glue onto the back of my cut file, um, where you can't see it, so not where the vellum, vellum is. And just placing them onto that gorgeous paper. So I'm gonna have obviously that title there at the bottom. The dream catch is going to go up in the left hand corner. I have overlapped it off the edge and I am going to cut bits of it off. My photo is going to tuck in behind the title and then my feathers are going to go up in the right hand corner. Now I decide to map my photograph on some white tissue paper again to keep that really soft feel. So I do four pieces and I just roughly cut them out using my scissors. So I layer each one and then cut it. And I just then ruffle all the edges up once I've stuck them all down. Give a really soft feel to the edge of the photo. Now this photograph is a very special one. It's of my son when he was in um, the neonatal intensive care unit when he was born. He was there for about three weeks. Um, but we knew he was going to be okay. And he just needed to get stronger. And uh, yes, I've got some very special photographs of him. He's one of that that one there. He's holding my finger, and he's um, he's in his little incubator. So I'm just going to go around now and pop these feathers in. So I took one in behind the photograph, and I've got three that are going to go up in that top uh, right hand corner. I'm going to kind of layer on top of each other and have those dangling down from that corner as well. You can see I've gone off camera and I've trimmed off the edges of the dream catcher. I've now got some bits of white thread that I'm just going to kind of knot up into a little ball and tuck in at various points underneath um, bits of the cut files just for a bit of interest and to add a bit more softness to the layout again. 
I think I do four in total, just at various points. Maybe I do five, is that a fifth one? That could be a fifth one actually. <laughs> and then the next thing I decide to do is grab some sequins. So I've got some purple sequins and I'm using glossy accents. I find glossy accents is stickier than glue and dries a bit quicker, so it holds the sequins down better. So I've got a variety of purple, um, lilac -y coloured ones, and I think I come back in a minute with some silver ones as well. So that they look really pretty and they just give a little bit of sparkle around the edge of the layout. And then yeah, just gonna get another colour, some silvery white ones to add a bit of a different colour in. And just tuck them in at various places, put them in little clusters all over the layout. And then I take some white Liquitex acrylic ink and sort of put some big white splatters on and then I do some little white splatters all over the layout as well. That then had just a couple of minutes to dry um, and then I decided after chatting with a few of my scrapping friends that it to, it needed something else, it wasn't quite done, so I decided to matte the whole thing um, and give it a very sort of light, light purple coloured border just to really ground it um, and, and give it that finished appearance and I'm much happier with it with the border around. So just before I stick it down I do gut the middle of it using a craft knife so I can save some of that paper for later. So you just take out the middle there and then just stuck it onto that border. Thank you ever so much for watching my video today. Keep tuned, um, and then there's some close-ups at the end of the video. I hope this has inspired you to use more than one cut file on a layout, um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.